So here we go. Do you feel lucky? You thought you weren't gonna have to see my ugly mug, but here I am. <laughs> gotcha. Listen, I just wanna take a few minutes to talk to you about something. Today you're gonna to be doing a New Zella article. And um, in that article, I'm gonna ask you to complete all parts. So you're gonna do the reading first, and then you're gonna complete the quiz, and then you're gonna do the power words quiz, and then you finally you're going to do the writing. And in the writing is the, really the piece that I wanna to talk to you about. Um, these articles uh, that you're reading by these authors, these authors have spent a great deal of time, research, and um, you know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears have gone into these articles. And as you're talking about these articles, you need to uh, give these people credit. The author of today's article is at uh, Atlantis, nope, just Atlas, sorry, <laughs> Atlas Obscura. And so as you write, you need to be sure that you give Obscura um, credit. All right, now, in a paragraph, which is basically all you're going to write today, you're gonna to write a radical response. And in this paragraph, you are going to, um, you know, you're gonna restate, you're gonna give your answer. You're not gonna use because in your first few lines. Um, and you're gonna give details. Yeah, you're gonna provide evidence to support what you're saying is correct. Uh, and then, we're, You've done a couple of these writings, and I've just kind of let you kind of get used to Nuzella, but now we're going to go to format. We're going to have a very specific format, and we're going to learn to give these people credit. So the first thing you're going to do when you get to your writing piece is uh, you're going to look at the question, and, you know, if you want to, you can just kind of jot down some ideas on paper because eventually you're going to type your answer into the program itself. Um, after you think you're kind of ready for... Um, to put your answer together and type it in the computer, then please remember that you need to always, always, always um, mention the title, okay? So you always wanna mention the title of the piece that you are um, talking about, right? The other thing that I want you to think about is you're going to have to cite some way or another, you're gonna to have to cite um, there's two ways. One way or another, you're going to have to cite this obscure lady. So if you start out and you say something like, um, okay, if you start out by saying something like that, the author explains that, uh, then at the end of whatever it is that you're saying, you have to put her name, her, just her last name, in parentheses, and that's called MLA citing, right? MLA. Um, the other thing that you could do is, you could say, in the article, Stormy Seas, or whatever it is, Obscura explains that whatever, whatever that is that you're trying to explain. So you either have to put it at the end of the first sentence where, you're referring, where you are referring to information that she's giving you, or you can mention her actually in your answer, okay? But you have to give credit where credit is due. You... Here's the, here's the guideline. If it's not a common knowledge piece of information, if every other student in this high school doesn't have this knowledge and they don't know, then you have to give that person credit, all right? It's called citing your source, citing your source, yep. So that's what you have to do. So today again, just in recap, hey, by the way, this is my first YouTube video ever, yeah. Um, and you're the first recipients. Do you feel special? Huh? Do you? Huh? Huh? You should. Um, Any who's on. So first thing in your writing, it's going to be a radical response. You know how that goes, right? Uh, then in your answer, you're going to mention the title. After you mention the title and you start talking about this information that you're providing in your answer, you're going to make sure that you cite your source. And your source is Atlas Obscura. Now, I want to talk to you about one last thing before I get off of here, and I know you're, you're tired of seeing my ugly mug, but I want to talk to you about this. I don't want you to say, Obscura says. Nah, that's boring, boring. Says is boring. I 
kind of having fun with this. But there are many words, right? Uh, just to name a few, let me put a few up on the board for you. So, and I'll show you this list in a minute. Um, so you could say things like, ooh, turning you ever so slowly. Um, she comments. Uh, she concludes. Uh, indicates. Write these down, by the way, in your notebook, please. Indicates. Um, she observes. She remarks, illustrates. I, I'm just giving you a few, and I don't know. Some of these may or may not work with what you're wanting to say. Um, defines. Uh, shows. Confirms. All right, you can use any of these. I just don't want you to use this. I don't want you to use says, okay? I want you to get beyond that. I want you to start reaching out for to use other words, okay? Um, of course, I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, you've been getting good reports the whole when I'm have I have uh, had to be gone. I hope you continue that. Um, it's Friday. Have a good weekend. See ya.